Hi champions, welcome to a terrific Tuesday. So again, we're going to be working on word meaning, context clues, which is a skill you will need even when you um, take the SATs and the um, ACTs to go to college. So remember, there's going to be big words in reading, but don't skip over them. We're going to try to figure them out like a detective. We're going to be word detectives, okay? So yesterday, when you were listening to Brave Irene, hopefully you used some of the skills that we touched on yesterday. If not, we're going to review more of it today. So we're going to practice again, um, looking for the bolded word. We're going to look for clues that help us make our decision, okay? So a little bit longer of a text to read. So here we go. Number one, the archaeologist carefully removed the tome from its ancient resting place and proceeded to read the pages related to marriage in ancient Greek. So what does tome mean? Well, what does the word tome probably mean? So it says proceeded to read the pages. So I'm assuming when you read a page that the best thing would be a book. Let's see if it makes sense. The archaeologist carefully removed the book book is the best choice. Sausage doesn't work, weapon doesn't work, and a pen does not work. Number two, the Navajo language is an unwritten language of extreme complexity with no alphabet or symbols and is spoken only on the lands of the Navajo Nation in the American Southwest. During World War II, a Navajo code was created for the U.S. Navy. This code was virtually undecipherable to anyone except Navajo-speaking persons. What does the word virtually mean? This code was pleasant undecipherable to anyone. This code was almost undecipherable to anyone. This code was never decipherable to anyone. Or this code was always decipherable to anyone. So, it looks like it says ex except to Navajo speaking people. And usually when you think of a code, you not everybody knows the code to something, right? That's why it's kind of a secret. So that's why it always won't work, because then it won't be a code. Pleasant doesn't work. This code was almost decipherable or never decipherable. Hmm. Which one would be the best choice? I think virtually. Let's think about it for a second. So the code was indecipherable to anyone except code was never undecipherable to anyone. No, undecipherable is another big word. So decipher means you understand it. So virtually means pretty much. So the code was pretty much decipherable. Pleasant still doesn't work. Never undecipherable. I think the best choice here, because this is a tricky one, would be almost. Because virtually doesn't mean always and never doesn't work. So it was pretty much, which is almost, undecipherable to everyone. That one was a really hard one. Let's keep going. Lakes occupy less than 2% of the Earth's surface, yet they help sustain life. For instance, lakes gives us fish to eat, irrigate crops, and generate electrical power. So it looks like, for instance, it's giving us examples. Hmm. So, what does the word sustain probably mean? Sustain life. Support life? Yeah. Obstruct? No. Prolong? Destroy. That would be wrong. Support life, right? To give us fish to eat, that's supporting us. Irrigate crops means it helps to water the crops and generate electrical power. Nice. Number four. The ancient Greeks pioneered many of the kinds of writing we consider standard today. They wrote speeches, plays, poems, books about science and learning, and long histories of things that happened to them. What does the word pioneer mean? The ancient Greeks complicated many of the kinds of writings we use today. They developed many of the kinds of, they destroyed or they explored. Well, they didn't destroy it because we, we wouldn't have it today if they destroyed it. So they wrote speeches, plays, poems, all these things they wrote that we use today seems like they made it or they developed it that would be the best one complicated it no developed is the best choice number five 45 sorry 55 mostly prominent male delegates attended the philadelphia convention in 1787 about 
75 percent of the delegates had served in congress and others were important people in their home states these men are often referred to as the framers of the constitution what does prominent mean hmm. unimportant unknown common or important let's see they attended the philadelphia convention i don't know much about that but it seems important they serve in congress Ooh, other other important people in their states Ooh. so i think it means important because it tells me about important people the mostly prominent male delegates important common unknown unimportant and number six these were harder to today bats that eat fruit and nectar spread seeds and help flowers grow without bats many important plants would not thrive not thrive what does the word thrive probably mean so it says here that bats spread seeds and help flowers go so bats are helpful but without bats plants would not be able to pretty much live right so what does the word flourish die wither or deteriorate whoa plants that eat fruit and nectar without bats many plants would not pretty much live but which one of these words means live well die is the opposite wither deteriorate i think flourish is the best one flourish is a synonym for live or do really well these ones are tricky wither is kind of when it creeps down deteriorate is not quite what we use when we talk about plants all right, your assignment today is to listen to Private Iguana like we did last week. Same thing, draw yourself a, I call the T-chart, it's a two-way T-chart, labeling an unknown word, meaning, and clues. Here are the words, distress, frankly, plastered, sashayed, and rave. I'd like you to find out. Remember, next to it, I have the times. Please make sure that you listen a few seconds before and after, and then we will go over... Oh, try to figure out the meaning and any clues you found in the story. Okay, good luck. We'll go over it tomorrow.